to the reception of the Western perspective in the, in the East, uh, and in particular in the UQA painting, uh, here we have, uh, um, there are references and also there is visual evidence. Well, we know that a painter like Hoxai did not praise perspective. Most probably he saw it as a useless mathematical cage. By the way, I was saying to Okada-sen said that I've just noticed that today is the anniversary of uh, the, uh, the 31st of October is the anniversary uh, of uh, Hoxai birth of cuisine. <laughs> so I think that this is, I mean, I like the fact that this lecture is on the day of the anniversary of, of Kasai. And uh, well, I was saying that Hoxai didn't like per, uh, perspective. Nevertheless, he undoubtedly uh, grasped the symbolic significance of perspective very well. One uh, among uh, many examples from uh, Hoxai uh, paintings is this uh, view, well, is this view from the Fuji. Now this is from the east because this is from Edo. And it's the, so it's the, it's also a way in which the uh, east is looking to the, to the west because it's the way in which uh, Japanese painter use the artificial perspective. And what is interesting in the, what I find interesting in this representation, that is the, uh, the representation of uh, Nihonbashi, that is the center, now it's not, it's the center of, uh, um, of Tokyo. And um, mm, I was uh, listening a lecture of um, uh, Time on Screech and uh, on the globalization, uh, uh, the global, on in, uh, global interpretation of uh, uh, Nihonbashi. And I found this really inspiring because he was saying that, uh, here what uh, Time on Screech said, Edo's area initially is rather outline place. In fact, that area called uh, Musashi was not only offline, but was the very daimeshi, the byword for absence. In the poetical tradition, Musashi stands from the absence of everything. It's the place where all you can see when you go there is tall grass, nothing. And that space of nothing becomes the center of the shogunal regime. Well, Mastering with remarkable ability the rules of linear perspective, Hoxai locates the center of the shogunal regime precisely on the vanishing point. The shogunal power, or perhaps we should say the temporal political power, grows out of nothing. 